guys and welcome to the train dude um today i am going to be unboxing a ebay um basically ebay ebay find i found on ebay so um i have i'm not opened it yet i just got it in the mail so we're gonna open it up and hopefully i didn't get scammed or possibly i don't know hope I, hopefully i didn't get scammed so let me find some scissors real quick. Okay, got some scissors. Well, they're not scissors, they're weird scissors. You know what? These will work. I'm kind of doing this one handed, so I have to be careful. But so I picked this up for uh, $20 on eBay. Um is um uh, i'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's a surprise so but um what it's supposed to be but um yeah came from dallas or not dallas came from texas so but um let's open it with these weird scissors i think these are like long like you cut stuff with these scissors like well duh you cut stuff with the scissors but um like you cut the like bushes outside and stuff so um so i'm just gonna cut right into this sorry for the bad camera angling but um yeah i'm doing this one-handed so should have used my gopro but we should be okay what's making this work i have stuff in the way because i've been working on stuff so but once we Get her open. I have a, a new video supposed to come out. Um, I'm going to be at the surprise. And um, I hope I don't damage anything on the inside. But it's a surprise. Okay, now it's opening. Okay. This is a very weird box. Um, very weird box. I think it. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird, very weird box. Okay, so we definitely have some stuff contained in here. Okay, so we got a letter here. Okay, so got like a little letter here, so um, we're opening it up. I'm very excited about this because um, there it is. I totally didn't get scared. All right, so. Okay, so you might be wondering, what is this? Um, this is, let me make sure there isn't anything else in the box. Okay, the box is empty now. So you might be wondering, what is this? So, um, this is a Lionel coal dump car. It's not like the coal dump car that you would think, like the one that the one that I have, this is a, um, older version, uh, but, okay. this is a older version, this one has some unique stuff that came with it too, so, so here it is, um, definitely not the most best condition of something, but, um, Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, it has automatic uncoupling on it. That's cool. But um, it smells. Hmm. It smells different. Like it smells like someone smoked around it. But uh, yeah, it does smell like that. I don't know. I have to see if this thing works. But, 
Yeah, let's check out some other stuff that they included. So, um, I got this little bag of coal with it. Um, I already have one of these bags of coals, but, coal bags, but, um, it's hard to do this. Okay, there we go. One hand. Okay, so, okay, it's a very, um, older bag. You can tell it does have the Lionel logo on it. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's interesting. We got the instructions. Let's hope that the right instructions. And of course they're not. <laughs> yeah, these ain't the right instructions. This is um for a um the one that, the other one that I have. I thought the neat was about this was it had um it had this on the back of it on the instructions. I like to keep the instructions and stuff because um it just makes it oh no okay there we go it just kind of makes it feel like it's more original. And then uh we got the bin. I already have one like this, one exactly like this, but, um, I was actually going to use this for something, so, yeah, it actually, the thing is, and, it is, uh, all here, what I ordered, so, um, let's go test it out, be right back, okay, so I got it all set up on the track here, so, Moment of truth. We gotta press this button to find out. Okay, nothing. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wait. Keep pressing it. Something definitely ain't right with this. supposed to dump the other way. Why's it going? I don't think it's supposed to go that way. I think it's supposed to go the other way. Which I thought would smoke oh it's it's shorting out somewhere this coupler that coupler is shorting out that wasn't it wasn't the thing it was the coupler the automatic uncoupling but this thing's rough i didn't see it as rough on the pictures as it is on the um when it's here I wanted one of these too, so. But it. See, that's supposed to raise it back up. Ugh. Okay, so this is going to need some work. Definitely. So, let me go back over here. Um. Yeah, it's going to need some work. right back i'm gonna do some stuff to this i'll be right back okay so i'm back and i have had no luck with this thing um i can get it to go down and it'll push this back up but that's basically the only thing it doesn't go down um so and it i've actually got burnt because um 
something just shorting out on these couplers. It's it's bad because um it's burning hot. But um we'll probably do a video on this to get this working. Um but yeah. So let's look at the coal. Let's see how the what condition the coal is in. Um hmm. I'll be, well, I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, whoever had this definitely pulled out the original string. Because it ain't got it anymore. I, I already have a coal bag, so I know what, how it's like. Um, let me see. Let me just pour it out. Let's see how it is. So, it's in good, con it's okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's in good, con uh, yeah, probably good condition, because, um, well, it is half bag, it ain't the whole bag, but, so, um, I'll, I'm going to go get my other dump car, well, yeah, dump car, and I'm going to show you how, like, what are different about these, and stuff like that, so, I'll be right back. Alright, so, I'm back, and, um, I'm gonna show you all the, the two dump cars that I had, had, and so, basically, I'm just gonna kind of show you, um, what, how they, like, kind of transform, so, uh, this one, you have, like, this kind of style, uh, thing here, so, it wasn't really big detail, like, it was really not detailed at all it's basically a toy look but it they did have them work and stuff like that so and then they went on uh to this one uh so it definitely is more detailed more it looks more like a train car and stuff but i think the biggest problem well i'll say this at the end but that's they also had this in a green version, but, so they went from that, and then, later on, you got the twin dump car, which it could dump two, um, two loads at the same time, so, yeah, this one was definitely the most detailed out of all of them, because, um, kind of, it looks just like a real train car, and some train cars are like this, so, it definitely has some detail and this is a very long car as you can tell it's well because it's got twin dumps but you can tell they have downsized and like, down basically they've got bigger ever so one so yeah that's pretty it's kind of cool at how I did that but one thing is I do want to say this these these two have a big problem. Um the doors. The doors that come back, they don't like to shut all the way. Um the gears which like strip in there some a lot of times and stuff. And yeah, this one has a bad problem with that. This door won't even close anymore. Uh the gears are so stripped on it. That was something that Lionel did didn't need to redesign, but they never went that far, so, but, yeah, these, are uh, the doors, I, I don't like them, so that's why I kind of bought this, because I thought, well, maybe this will be better, since it, um, is, you know, got this, and it's not got no doors, but, or it ain't got no doors, but, that's kind of, Basically it for this video for today because I can't really do anything else with it now because I don't have to fix it. But um, the coal bag, see these the the the, the instructions here. Um, that's this coal. This, this the instructions here show this dump car. So yeah, that's kind of. Very cool looking instructions, but, um, not the ones that go with this. I also like the Lionel back, the Lionel logo back here and stuff, but, I mean, I mean, it's, 
basically this was older so it's probably about 70 years old you can't really expect much out of something that's old like that but i was kind of expecting it to work but yeah so um i'll be doing another video on how to um we're going to basically take this apart figure out what's wrong with it clean it up a little bit stuff like that basics but you pull it and stuff like that so stay tuned and um like stay tuned to see me do that video i'm having a surprise video coming out um here shortly um i've got something uh that i'm gonna show and well kind of sh i guess i've kind of showed it in a video but not a lot and i'm not gonna say the video but um yeah i have a surprise video coming out so uh stay tuned for that also um that will be coming out probably the next week but thanks for watching please subscribe and have a good day all right so the video is still not over um so i'll kind of tell you the story about why it ain't over so um i was uh I was, after i clicked off for the video to end it's kind of kind of mad so i went and looked up some videos about it and stuff and i went in there and kind of uh, actually fixed it so it works now but um i went in there and um the spring in there wasn't right and some other stuff was like just placed wrong so someone's definitely been in this before so um yeah and it, it was like going the other way it wasn't going right so this is how it this is it working now So, I've got it working and stuff now. So, why don't we uh, put a little bit of coal in this and drop it down in here. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so, while I've already got the bin set up. So, I have uh, one over there. Uh, one right there. So, now we got another one. So, you should be kind of careful with pouring this out because it can go everywhere. So, I'm definitely going to use the coal bag that it came with. So, I'm just going to kind of like just a little bit kind of show you how it works and stuff so that should be good enough i don't want to put a lot because it like i said it's very messy so um let's start off like i said it's messy and it went everywhere <laughs> um yeah went everywhere of course one of the reasons why I don't use these accessories a lot. That is messy over there really bad too, so. A lot of gloaters, they're probably the, like one of the best accessories that I have because it doesn't make too big of a mess and stuff. Let me put it closer to the track. Ooh, it went under here. I don't like messes. One time I had, um, that one coal, well, dump car, it's full of coal one time, and, um, you have to get up on the table to work on it, and I kind of kicked it with my foot, and it went all over the place, it was a nightmare, but, uh, I picked it all up, it was bad, another time I had, a uh, on my HO scale layout, um, had, like, rocks in it, acting like it was coal, and I got up on there too, and it failed. Went everywhere. It's just a messy, messy game with this stuff. But it's fun to play with, but. Ugh. Okay, let's put it real close up. When it goes, it should just go right in there. If it don't fall out while it goes in there. Okay, here we go. All of it went in there. So that's pretty cool. Well, the automatic uncoupling on this thing needs some work. Um, I didn't notice this in the video when we were doing it. Um, 
this is a the pre-war version of the coal car, so that's why it's like that. But actually, this one is more easier to service and stuff than the other one. <clears throat> so I would like to use this one as my only dump car if I really wanted to. I gotta get my twin dump car working though, in good condition, like working good. But yeah, here's all the coal. And it's a little bin. And here's the bag. Ooh, don't want to drop it. So now we can finally say thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a good day.